Hey everybody. Okay, Eric here, and I have an update from my last Starlink video. I've got some good news and I've got some bad news. I'm gonna do a quick update on both. Uh, meanwhile, please like, subscribe, hit the like button, please, pound, share, whatever you need to do. Uh, if this brought you value, I would greatly appreciate it. All right, on to the news. So I've got good news and bad news. Uh, I posted a video a few weeks ago about how excited I was to sign up for Starlink because they made it available nationwide, and I was pretty darn excited. Well, I signed up. I gave them my deposit, which I think was $99. Somebody told me in one of my comments that there's also taxes. Uh, you got to pay sales tax on the $500, and then also um, you probably got some FCC taxes on the monthly service of of $99. So it's probably going to be a little bit more expensive, but not too bad. So just be aware of that. Uh, but here's what we learned. So first of all, I was excited. They said late, um, what is it, late summer or midsummer to late 2021, and they let everybody in the country sign up. So everybody in North America could sign up uh, with the intention of getting this. So here's the bad news. PC Magazine recently put out a map of where people are actually getting this today. So uh, a couple weeks ago, I mean, Starlink's been rolling out these satellites like crazy. But then the other piece is, is they have to set up nearby ground stations for these to work. Um, so take a look at the map that PC Magazine put out. Here's how this works. They've got, uh, they're using a speed tester. When you go to the speed tester, it tells you um, their web server where the, the coordinates are, where the tests are happening. So they can get an idea of where Starlink is being deployed right now because it's kind of a secret. I mean, nobody, they're not telling anybody when or where it's being deployed. So look at the map that we've got set up over here. Uh, if you look at it, almost all of the installations are in the top states still. They're not, they're, they're, in the, they're in the upper portion of the United States. There's nothing really lower. You'll notice there's a couple of them that are, you've got one in lower Southern California here. That's Tesla's headquarters. They're, they're using it at Tesla. So that's why that's, that's all lit up down there. And then up above, you've got, uh, of course, SpaceX headquarters in, in Northern California there, as well as there's another Tesla location there. There is no other Southern areas. Sorry, I had to go down and look closely because it looked like there was one in Colorado, which I think they're testing with the government. There are no other lower places coming in. So what does that mean? That means that even though we could order it, it doesn't look like that anybody's actually got it in the lower U.S. And there's a lot of people in the northern part of U.S. in, you know, uh, Montana, in, uh, you know, North Dakota, like a lot of places way up there where they are definitely dying to get it because their Internet situation is not great. So there's probably a good size waiting list just in that area, let alone the rest of the states. So I'm going to speculate sadly, that uh, I mean, Elon Musk tends to uh, over-promise on some of these things, timeline lies. Uh, I, I don't know that we're going to see this in the lower uh, part of the U.S. until later in the year, which is a total bummer. That's the bad news. Okay, now on to the good news. Uh, if you're an RVer or if you like to move with your dish, they've basically said you can't. The technology isn't there yet. Uh, the next generation of satellites, maybe. They're talking about linking them with lasers and things like that. But something interesting was filed on Friday. Uh, so Starlink filed a request with the FCC on Friday to allow for one million mobile devices. Now, a bunch of people were speculating that, hey, they're going to start putting these in Teslas. And they said on the earnings call late last year that, yes, they would love to do that, but it's not going to happen in 2020 uh, just because it's just it's just not going to happen. Uh, what the request said is they would like to start lighting up mobile devices like buses, uh, big big rigs. They want to start, uh, you know, big yachts, things that are mobile and movable. Uh, the thing that they also disclose is it's probably going to be the same device that they're shipping now, just with mobile mounts. And so for those who don't know, it's a pretty decent sized device. It's, it's large pizza box size. So you can't just strap that on your, your car and expect it to work. I don't know if anybody remembers the old uh, direct TV satellite dish that would take a full roof rack to kind of make work. Uh, this is a little smaller and a little better, but since it moves and shifts to do the satellite tracking, 
can't imagine that this is not this is going to be able to go on your average two-door sedan or four-door sedan. Uh, so they're targeting putting this on big yachts, planes, uh, buses, uh, you know, trucks, things like that. But this is a good thing. Basically, they're saying, hey, the technology can be mobile, and they want to start testing and deploying it. Key is is only they're worried about people installing these and and you know, falling off and things like that. So they've assured the FCC that only authorized people will be able to install these things, professionals, uh, because of the risk of it flying off the car, going down the highway and, and you know, killing somebody or something. Uh, so super exciting, especially if you travel or RV or things like that. It's not going to come out of the gates, but you could go camping and pop open something and, and have best internet like you do at your house. So now this has been a huge rural internet push, but this is like freedom everywhere. You could go and literally be in the middle of nowhere with 100 meg internet and have low latency stuff. You could game. You could be camping in the middle of the forest where there's no cell signal and be on a full-on game server and it would work. That's pretty cool in my book. Uh, or camping and you could work. I mean, let's talk about it. Everybody with, the, with everything that's happened over the last year and a half, they want to be mobile. They want to work where they want to work. And with this technology, it's better than most home internets. And you could be in the middle of nowhere. So I'm excited. I'm going to figure out what I can do to get on that list uh, because I want to test it in a mobile environment as well. And hey, with a million deployments is what they're scheduling for for the next year. That's pretty exciting. And that's just the mobile stuff. Uh, this is a game changer. So I'm excited. Hopefully you're excited. Hopefully you already signed up. Um, hopefully you keep an eye on this map. I think they're going to keep posting it of where they're installing. I want to see them come way down south. It's not, it's clear that it'll work way down south, but they just don't have the ground station and the satellite coverage for mass deployments yet. Pretty exciting times. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you want to see the other video about signing up, I'm going to go ahead and link that here in the, in the post uh, above if you want to check out that. But you can order this now and get on the wait list. And it sounds like it's a pretty massive wait list. So if it's something that you think you're going to do, don't delay. Anyway, thank you for watching. Hopefully brought this brought you value. I'm going to have more videos on this. I can't wait to try it uh, and also be pushing, you know, some of the other ways that you can use it, uh, some really heavy uh, network testing, things like that. Um, I'm excited. I'm excited to bring that to everybody and, uh, and see what it's going to do for everybody. Anyway, if you like this, please subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Thank you for watching and hopefully see you in the next video.